Good morning, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to Monday Morning Video Announcements. Today is National Be a Millionaire Day, and I am down with that. I'm not a millionaire, but I'm definitely down with being a millionaire. Today is May 20th, 2019, and there are four days of school left. So we have four days of school left, so enjoy this last week. All right, would everyone please stand and face the flag, and we will honor America with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. You may be seated. All right. It is Monday. So for the last time this school year, we have those distinguished men of character, at least I've heard, <laughs> Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern with our character awards. Good morning. You know, Mr. Harris, we do like rumors. Right, there yeah, you go. We like rumors. There we spread them. So, spread them. <laughs> well, happy Monday. Happy last Monday of the school year, everybody. And um, today I am going to talk about a young man I've gotten to know uh, this year, Ian Everhart. And uh, the character card reads, I really think Ian Everhart deserves a nomination for this week. He always has a big smile on his face. Anytime he sees someone sad, he always manages to get a smile out of them. Uh, before he leaves. So, Ian, great job. We really appreciate the positive attitude you're spreading here around our school and, and continue to keep up the great work. The nomination I have this week is for Olivia Cathy, and it says, Olivia helped me become more comfortable with the school, and she has been an amazing friend. So thank you to both of our award recipients this week. We have T-shirts for you if you want to head down to room 220 during an aviator bell during the next few days. Hey, we want to just put a big shout out mm. uh, to all the classes for helping us this year. Uh, we've been uh, doing the Sandwich Project now since 1997, so to continue through another year is just a blessing, and we want to thank to every classroom and every teacher for helping us continue this great uh, character ed program that we do here. We make sandwiches on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. All right, have a great day. All right, thank you, gentlemen. All seventh graders, the annual Youth Boy Soccer Camp is going to be at Sycamore High School June 17th through the 20th on the high school turf field. Now, remember, for this and all of our summer sports camps, you can sign up on Parent Portal on Blackboard, okay? And also, the link has been sent to you guys in the announcement. So if you want to do any of that summer camps, make sure you sign up. Library books are due back to the Media Center ASAP, which actually means now. You need to get those books back in now. Teachers and the principal's office have lists of fines that of books that are owed and fine and books that are overdue and fines that are owed. So you better check your lockers, under your beds, look in your backpacks, and find the books. See Mrs. Williams if you have any questions. International Club, you're going to meet today at 315 in room 223. So this is the food, fashion, and family classroom. Members, please check your email for more information about today's meeting. We the peeps first. The generic stuff, we the people. Students, return your books to Mr. Hammer's class today in room 200. If you have a high school book, return this to him as well. And some congratulations. Unit 4 at the state competition on Friday. This group received first place in their respective category on judicial review and the Supreme Court's role in the Constitution. The winners of this team are Macy Smith, Olivia Perugrian, Rhea Parikh and Olivia Severson argued very well at the State House before a panel of judges. Thanks to everyone who joined We the People this year, and you did a great job of representing Sycamore Junior High. Speaking of awards, hey, we've got our Montgomery Women's Club uh, award winners, and we're going to show you that in a video happening right about now. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nancy Jones, and I'm with the Montgomery Women's Club, and I'm here because you have a state writing contest winner. Uh, Reagan has done this before, but she's an amazing writer. She wrote a story entitled A Little Bit of Sunshine, and she has gotten a, a beautiful state award for that. Oh, thank you. And we're so, we're so happy to be able to do that for her. And um, thank you for joining us again. Thank you. That's it. Congratulations to that Montgomery Women's Club winner. Great job on your poem. All right, attention eighth graders who want to hoop it up on eighth grade day. If you want to enter the annual three-on-three -three tournament on eighth grade day, be sure to sign your team up on the poster at the end of the science wing near room 234. 
Be sure to get your team in as a part of this classic tournament. Both boys and girls teams are included, and they will compete against each other. So sign up for three-on-three basketball for eighth grade day. Football meeting. Anyone interested in playing football, there's going to be an important meeting tomorrow in the cafeteria during Aviator Bell. So this is for both seventh and eighth graders who are interested in playing football. Eighth grade, Coach Dottillo will be here to talk to you about going into the high school program, which will start this summer. And seventh graders are going to be eighth graders. Coach Winkle and I will be down there to talk to you about expectations and what's going on for tryouts this summer. And now we have a special announcement from our FTC robotics team. Hi, I'm Krishna Suresh. I'm from the Sycamore High School. I'm going to be a junior next year. Um, this is my eighth year in robotics, and I just came here to talk a little bit about what uh, First Tech Challenge is at both the junior high and the high school. So First Tech Challenge is a program that um, allows students to build robots and compete with them in competition, in competitions like across the world and in like, uh, there's a lot of competitions local in Ohio here too. Um, and the building of the robot is just one aspect of it. The program is really widespread from fully fundraising, uh, marketing, building a brand for your team, doing all the business aspects and transferring that into a building a robot, programming it, and um, fi fi like finishing with a complete uh, competition-ready robot. So um, building a robot entails many different aspects, starting from prototyping, where we use just like cardboard zip ties to cobble together like a robot that can function, and test different ideas and iterate over that. And then we slowly evolve our design and use CAD, which is like a 3D uh, visual um, tool to build the robot virtually before actually physically building it. Um, and then we slowly evolve the design into a final completed robot that we can bring to competitions and use. Um, so that's some of like the business, the, sorry, the building side. And at the high school, actually, we have access to a lot of um, tools such as CNCs and uh, lathes. And next year, I think we're getting a plasma cutter as well that we can use to further design and build cooler custom manufactured robots. Um, so on top of that, to power everything, we need to program. And programming is a really big aspect of the robot, since if you have a robot, it's just a block of metal if it can't move. So um, the program we use is called Java. Uh, if anyone has ever heard of that. But um, Java allows us to control all the motors and sensors and everything that's on the actual robot and program it to do exactly what we want it to do. So we also have access to cameras that we can use computer vision and machine learning to actually detect objects in the field and process them and orient the robot and um, do certain tasks. So that's a little bit about um, what the teams here at the Sycamore uh, Junior High and uh, the high school are doing in First Tech Challenge. And uh, it's a really great program to get involved in STEM um, from all aspects of the, the program. Um, so a way that you can get involved is through the Sycamore, um, Sycamore Robotics website. There is a form there that you can fill out. Um, if you're a seventh grader, you can join the um, Sycamore Junior High team. And if you're an eighth grader going up to high school, you can join the high school team um, next year. Thank you. All right, great job, robotics team. All right, that's the end of our announcements today. You guys have a great day. It's our last Monday, last Monday. Have a good week. Students, stay focused. You only got a few more, di few more days, and the school year will be over. We'll see everybody tomorrow.